Why do you love doing that so I much? don't know, it brings me joy. Yeah. Makes me feel like I'm in show you, business. But you did it since day <laughs> yeah. one. Mm -hmm. It was just, I saw it done on TV, I was like, I want to be on TV. <laughs> and you are! Yes. Hi everyone, I'm Anthony. I'm Jan. I have a cookbook coming out very soon and I wanted to invite Tanny Banny to cook a recipe from Anthony in the kitchen. I'm gonna tell him the name of the dish and that's basically it, and then he's gonna have to make it, and we're gonna see how he's gonna do. Probably, do you have any idea what this is? I'm probably not gonna be great because I mostly cook Indian food, this and I'm not gonna know what it is. This is something you've made before. Ah. Oh. And it's something right. that you completely butchered. Oh no! I don't know what it is, I do that a lot. You made it with Jonathan. Oh my god, it's an omelet! It's a French omelet! It's a French omelet! Oh god! You're making a French omelet. Okay. The French are gonna hate me for this. So the first time um, Tan and I actually made this dish sort of together was for an episode of Queer Eye where we taught 18-year-old Sean Van Meter and I wanted to teach him like a very traditional, simple, staple recipe that everyone should have in their repertoire, the French omelet. Everyone should know how to prepare eggs at least three ways. Yeah. So yeah, we made it. Tan embarrassed himself no, I and didn't. Jonathan. <clears throat> I made myself really proud. I taught him how to make a 12 omelet. Uh, it, was, egg, it was like French a folded omelet. frittata. Well, today you can redeem yourself and you're going to make a three? beautiful French omelette. I'm not, I told you what you're okay. making. You have to figure out the rest, Tan. All oh, right. I don't know what this, that's, this, this is confusing me. I don't know what this small pants We're going to figure it out. <laughs> Here's the thing. I feel no shame most of the time. So if I screw it up, I screw it up. However, I feel pretty confident. It was two and a half years ago that we shot that scene. So if I remember Jeez. how to do this, that is shocking because I've not done it since. We're gonna bring out all the ingredients and I'm just gonna stand here, a little judgmental, and watch my tanny Benny make an omelet. Why don't you sit uh, here? We'll bring the stool. Oh, are you the director now? Is this your... <laughs> <laughs> no, I... Thank you. Yeah. So may I sit here? Of course. Okay, let's start, let's... Ready? Okay, I'm going with the larger pan. Okay, what's the heat? It's, um, I'll put it on a low for now, I think. I'm gonna get rid of this. Because I'm going to do a three egg omelette because I think it's a three egg and I want it to have enough room to cook and then to be able to... I think we folded it. We'll, we'll see. Don't give me tips until I've done it. Why don't we just look at the ingredients and make okay. sure you know what everything is. Uh, chives, uh, salt, regular salt, and then um, chunky salt. Malden. Malden salt. Some kind of cheddar, I'm assuming. Pepper. Yeah. What looks like English butter, it's just not American butter, because yours is a weird colour over here. You guys have really weird pale whip <laughs> butter, and I will never understand what that's all about. Um, Shaming the Americans, we're off to a great start. It's candy. not my fault you guys do things weirdly. Okay, and then we have our eggs. So, three. Okay. Beautiful. We're going to make sure we don't have any little bits of shell. Look at those yolks. I know, so nice and orange. I'm assuming these are organic eggs. I really like how you crack your eggs. Thanks. Okay, gonna whisk the eggs. I've never seen you prepare anything in front of me, actually, and we've known each other for how long? So, uh, uh, almost three years, here's the thing. I don't let anybody cook in my kitchen when my husband tries to cook. I will do what you're doing, and I'll tell him that he's done something wrong <laughs> yeah. every step of the way. Okay, we're gonna add butter that's too hot. Yeah. Woo! We're gonna wipe that off, because I do not want that to burn it, and I know you're gonna criticize. Okay. Super low. Come on, sweetheart. Is it gonna be higher heat when you put the eggs in? No, it's gonna be a medium. Oh, I don't really? want it to cook too fast. Yes. Why don't you want it to cook too fast? Because I want it to be uh, nice and soft. <laughs> I want to be able to control it more. I'm gonna put two pinches of salt in. I, I like a salty egg. I'm not gonna worry about my chives yet. I'm gonna cut them at the very end. So you added a, uh, a shocking amount of butter. When I cook my eggs, I use like literally like a tiny, tiny. Oh. You know how I wouldn't know I because you've never made eggs for me, Tan. Because <laughs> he refuses to come to my home in Salt Lake because I think he thinks he's too good for Salt Lake. Not and true. so and Tan that's also thinks that the greatest sushi restaurant in the world is in Salt Lake City. I bring it up all the time because it's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. It is, and you would know this to be true if you would actually just come to Salt Lake City. So interesting. But you're a chopsticks here. Okay, we're gonna do just really small pieces of chive. I don't need to do a lot. Okay, let's test this. Does it look like it's ready to come? No, we're gonna cook it a little bit longer. I might turn the heat up. Anthony, keep your judging eye for somebody else. 
So whilst we wait for this to cook, is there any secrets you want to share with me? <laughs> I'm just curious about, you know. <gasps> I did it wrong! Is I do this first! It wasn't too late, you're fine. I have no idea why we do this. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm meant to keep it in kind of a shape. Shush. Everyone calm down, we're going to rescue it. Okay. And then we folded it, I think? I'm just going to try a little bit of this Gruyere because you don't seem to be using it. I'm going to use it in a moment. I'm waiting to my final turn. I don't want to do too much so that would be overpowering. Rude. Oh, come on, baby, please. Oh, I'm breaking it, I'm breaking it. No, 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 I need it to cook just a little bit more. <laughs> I know it was meant to be softer in the middle, I'm sorry. That's too small of a plate for this. That's perfect. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish it off with a bit of salt. And some chives. That looks really pretty to me. Do you want to try it whilst it's still... Don't pull that face. I'm not. Wait, let me get a fork. It might still be soft on the inside. You don't know. I don't have a knife, so you're going to have to eat like an American. We don't need a knife. I kept it on the hob for like 20 seconds too long. I know that it was taking me a long time to turn it. Okay, the color is great. I love that there's no browning. I like the fact that you use the finishing salt at the end. I think that's incredibly important. Great amount of chives. And, is that uh, a dig or are you serious? No, 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 no. Not no, too I love, heavy, not I too love light. chives, not yep. too heavy, not too light. I forgot to add pepper. Okay, it could be a little softer on the inside. The pa it, well, it's not my stove top. I actually don't realize how hot this gets. It's really nice. It's not bad, huh? No joke for, this is the first time you ever do a French omelet where you're not distracted by Jonathan Van Ness. High five to you. I'm actually, I'm very proud of you. I really am. Bros. I love you. <laughs> I was going for an affection and hug. Uh, we can do bros. I'm actually gonna have a little, gonna have a little bite. 10 out, uh, 10 out of 10? No, no, definitely not. Eight? It's, it's like a high um, eight? It's like a 7.5. That's really rude, actually. That's super offensive. It's, an, it's a 7.5. <laughs> I want to make you a version of it now, and we'll see if I screw question. it up or not. Question, question, question. Did I use the right pan? You did right for right. three eggs. For two eggs, you would use um, an eight inch. I'm talking the talk, but let's see if I can walk now it. Now I'm going to give Anthony an Indian meal to <laughs> I'm going to make a French omelet. A two egg. Two eggs. So in the book, it's two egg. I will say, for the record, you use the right amounts of everything, except you want a little light on the butter, which yeah. is very surprising because you love butter like I do. I'm on a health kick right now. Got it. So we're going to put on a nice low heat. <laughs> Did you ever pick eggs on the English countryside yeah, with your mom course. as a kid? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah, of course. Oh. Mm. That's why I got on the <laughs> ball. <laughs> I actually salvaged the egg. You did? I seriously oh. salvaged the whole egg. Great. Yeah. Tantony, take two. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna do it your way. Go. I'm teachable, see? <laughs> wow, that's a, a hefty amount of butter, huh? Little bit of foam in the pan. Even though it's a non-stick, we wanna get it coated. should wait till it forms a little bit and you can see it start to mm -hmm. just sort of like fold over on the side. So the chopsticks allow for a really small curd and I learned these from a lot of Japanese YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really good little hack because if you use a spatula, I feel like I get larger curdles and then yeah. it makes it a little harder to fold afterwards. And it is very satisfying breaking apart mm -hmm. the edges. So it's nicely uniform and you fill up all the little crevices. Bring it along to the edge of the pan. Mm -hmm. And then our Gruyere, or cheddar as Tan calls it. <laughs> now we'll get along yeah. the edges. Yeah, we're going generous. Going in. Uh -huh. And this is the patient part. This is where I wait. I like it to be a little runny, but not too much. Not raw. There you go. Ready? Yeah. There you go. Gorgeous. See? And then Beautiful. you can manipulate it just so that it looks like the one I'm that... I'm grabbing some papers and wipe up the side. I like to put another little dab of butter mm. to get it nice and moist. 
Let's give it a glitter. Love a shiny omelet. Right? Cut through, through the middle that. of it. Do you like how I did that? As if it's a great experience. Uh, look at the cheese who's out. Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, yeah, that's beautiful. Bro, yours is super runny on the inside. Mm. All right. What? What? Is it? It's very really good. Yeah, that texture is lovely. So you have the uniform color, right? There's no browning, which you were very successful with. Mm -hmm. I like it when you cut through it for it to have that like mm -hmm. satisfactory, like that pour out. Yeah. The egg is seasoned, a bit of finishing salt on top so you get that like nice crunch. Mm -hmm. The right amount of chive and the right amount of pepper. Did it. All right. Eight out of 10. I know we said seven, but I don't care. What would you give yours? I would give myself the same score as you. Because I should be getting a 10 out of 10. You got a nine. I'm gonna give you a nine, yours was better than mine. Absolutely was better than mine. I agree to agree. I learnt um, that you're meant to use the chopsticks earlier on, um, that uh, there's no such thing as a, a diet option of a French omelette, and so I was wrong to not add enough butter. But other than that, I feel like what I learned is I, my memory's bloody great. Two and a half years on, I was still able to do something. You do something. have very good memory. Yeah. yeah. And I wasn't paying attention in the slightest. At all. Well, that's been Anthony in the Kitchen with uh, special, Thank you so much. with very special guest, Tan France. Can I you to go buy Anthony's book now? I will not go buy Anthony's book because he gifted it to me already. Fair. But you really should go get the book because it's as fantastic. An and as a little treat for you, there's also a couple of recipes in there from me. And you get to see pictures of him looking like that, which is real cute. Why aren't there any pictures of me in here? I don't have any other humans. That's weird. Just a doggo. Then don't get the book. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Danny. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get you, at some point in the very near future, to make a Pakistani dish. I was going to say the two things that I should never make for you are Pakistani food or any dessert. I'm going to get you to do both of those things. A Pakistani dessert. You heard it here first. Yeah.